Serizawa, Borges Carnero, Debra and Beatrice, Alonso, Leonhardt, Van Rijsbeek, Fittes and Lindbergh. And straight into the pool, really deep with the streamline and underwater. And while Fittes broke water relatively early, getting into her stroke, she's looking good here in terms of settling into her stroke. And the high action of Alonso in the middle of the pool now, looking to eke out a lead, heading up toward the 50. Yeah, and Alonso, she has that great early speed where Alonso sometimes struggles, is coming in that second half. So it's unsurprising that she's out very fast. So looking to uh, take a big advantage at the wall at 50. It is Alonso who turns in 33.65. Fit is uh, as close as anyone is going to get. But they are good two seconds behind Alonso, and she's got a good body length and a half ahead of her. But the battle for silver and bronze is going to be epic. There are two Brazilians, two Australians, and Louise Fit is battling for two medals. Yeah, and Louise Fit she does typically, she's got great closing speed. And here you see her right now pulling away from the rest of the field. She's a phenomenal finisher. Well, it is Alonso who's going to successfully defend her title. Is she going to break the world record in the process as well? The 27-year-old from Tenerife comes into the wall in world record time. It's a treble. London, Rio, and now Tokyo. Fittis touches for the bronze. And it is Beatriz Borges Carnero who out-touches her twin sister, Deborah, at the wall. An inspiring individual with an inspirational swim. representing Great Britain, Louise Fittis, winning the silver medal. Morning with your heat swim, but that was something else. I'm not going to lie, I was a bit heartbroken. You know, so many years of my life, so much, just everything, put my family under so much pressure, and to actually, like, achieve it. <laughs> like, this last year's been so hard. I'm just so shocked and overwhelmed. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> Your family will have been jumping up and down, won't they? Oh, They'll be so yeah. proud of you. My dad, bless. He's probably crying too. Oh, my family is so, so, so supportive. I just, I couldn't be here without them. Just everything, like my dad just, he came with me every single session. He'd support me through everything. School, anything that I struggled with, he was there. So lovely to hear you talking about them. And earlier in the week, you know, you swam really well, but you were a bit disappointed. How have you managed to turn it around? Uh, just with the support staff at British Swimming and having their support has really made it just so much more achievable. So, yeah. Paralympic medalist. Do you, do you want to send a message to your family about home? Yeah, thank you so much for everything. I'd also like to say thank you to my coach, Yanko at home, and all the girls, and my gym instructor. You know, they've all done it. It's such a team effort. I can't stress that enough. Thank you, Louise. Well done again. Enjoy that medal thank ceremony. You, thank you.